Good uh, morning, afternoon, evening. Um, it is uh, video 36 on function machines. Okay, now uh, function machines are, are really um, a simplified version of algebra. Um, it's, 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 it's an algebra topic. Uh, it typically comes up on the foundation exam paper, but this is definitely appropriate for key stage three. Um, key stage three students as well so year seven eight and nine this is something that uh, will help you with your um, current remote learning so function machines really are about inputs and outputs okay so um, if you think about a machine the whole purpose of a machine is that it takes something it does something to it and then you get an output so for example um, I have a machine here that um, adds 3 and then times is by 2, multiplies by 2, and then gives me an output. So this is a two function machine, two step function machine, add 3 and then multiply by 2. So for example, if I put the number 4 into this, into this machine, 4 add 3 will give me 7. 7 multiplied by 2 will give me 14. So the output you get is 14 when you put 4 in. That's the basics really of a, of a function machine. Sometimes they might give you uh, an output and ask you to work backwards to find the input. So for example I might say uh, 20. So 20 has come out of the machine. Now if you're going backwards, so this is what the machine I'm using the same function machine, okay? But now the question is, if I put sort of a bubble here, what what goes in this bubble if I went backwards? So going backwards, rather than timesing by 2 and adding 3, you do the opposite. So if I'm going back along the function machine to find the input, you need to do the opposite of this operation. So instead of timesing by 2, I'm going to divide by 2 to go that way. So 20 divided by 2, that's 10 so far. I'll just put it in brackets there, 10. And then instead of adding 3, I'm going to take away 3 to go that way. 10 take away 3. So my answer then is 7. If I put 7 into this machine, it ends up giving me 20. And I've just worked out the input. So that's the basics, really, of, uh, of function machines. Um, one other type of question you may see. Uh, so we'll look at a separate a separate machine actually so uh, another type of question you may see is for example um, <clears throat> uh, where they tell you one of the things that happens and then they tell you um, or they leave one blank and then they give you an output and they give you an input so for example if I say um, I put six into this machine um, I times it by 3 and then something else happens and the answer I get is 14. So what you then have to do is work out what the second part of the operation is. So 6 times 3 is 18. 18 something makes 14. So what do you have to do if I'm at 18 up to this stage, what do I have to do to 18 to make it into 14? Um, and the simplest answer is you can subtract 4. That isn't the only answer. Okay, There are other ways of turning 18 into 14. Um, but for the purpose of this example, let's keep it simple. Take away 4 is the simplest way, so that's what I do. Um, right. So we're now going to look at a few exam questions on function machines. So here is our first exam question. Here is a number machine. Input. Multiply by 5, take away 3, output. What is the output when the input is 7? So a very simple question. You'll notice only one mark. So it's a very basic level um, algebra question. You're being asked to put 7 into this machine. If I put 7 in the machine, 7 times 5, you should all know your times tables. That's 35 so far. 35 take away 3, that's 32. So nice and simple, output's 32. Okay, different number machine. So this is the other type of example. They've given you, um, uh, when the input is 9, the output's 2. So when I put 9 in here, the output here is 2. So 9 plus 11 
is 20. 20 something makes 2. So there are a couple of different answers. Um, there's lots of things I could do to it to make it into 2. If I've got if I've got 20 at this stage, it could be divide by 10. 20 divided by 10 makes 2. It could be uh, take away 18. 20 take away 18 uh, makes 2. Um, I mean, if you want to get a little bit more advanced, it could be, could be times by one tenth. So that's a there's three options there. I would say that you know certainly for key stage three, uh, that is probably not really the one you'd go with. You're probably going to choose one of these two. But uh, if you do understand this, this is when I times by a fraction, the answer gets smaller. So I'm I'm effectively saying what is a tenth of twenty? One tenth of twenty is two. Uh, and that's it. So a nice simple two mark question. One for the first, one for the second. So complete the number machine. Uh, well, yeah, obviously if I was doing this in an exam, I wouldn't write all three of them. I'd just choose one. So I might just write divide by 10. That would be my answer. Okay. Well, I'd like you to have a go at this one yourself now. Um, please pause the video and have a go. Um, yeah, w w when you're working out the input from the output, so if I know that 25 came out of the machine, then to go backwards, like I said, you do the inverse operation. I just like you to remember that inverse, which is a, a, a another word that basically means opposite. Inverse operation, okay, um, and that's how you work out the input. Uh, let's take a look now at question three. Um, again, uh, please pause the video and try it yourself. Um, one more question for you to try yourselves. Please remember for part B, you want to work backwards. So if the output's 44, you're going backwards, you need to do the opposite of that, then the opposite of that. Please pause the video now and have a go. Okay, um, that's been a, a quick run through for function machines. That should help you with your uh, home learning uh, and also for your exam preparation uh, and revision. Thank you very much.